fudgy kidney bean brownies. Delicious. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn the oven on to 350 degrees. Then you're going to take your pan that you're going to use and you're just going to spray it so it doesn't stick. You're going to use a food processor or a blender for this because you have to blend all of the ingredients except for the chocolate chips. Those go in last. So the first thing is the kidney beans. Next goes in the peanut butter. Then it's the cocoa powder. Oats. Salt. Next is the brown sugar. You're going to make sure you pack it with all that goodness. Two tablespoons of regular sugar. Quarter cup of vegetable oil. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Then you're just going to put the top on and turn it on. Make sure to scrape the sides down so they get any of the stuff that's not already coursed ground back into it. This is the consistency you're looking for. It's almost like a paste. Once it reaches the consistency, you're going to take out the blade, scrape it off into the bowl. it all in the bowl. And then you're going to add the chocolate chips. It's a half cup. And you're just going to incorporate it into the brownie mix.
you're going to get your pan that you sprayed earlier, and you're going to pour the brownie mix into it. Then you're just going to take it and quick level it out. And once it looks like this, you're going to put it in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes. You want to make sure that it goes in the center of the oven so that it cooks evenly. A few moments later. We're going to check and see if the brownies are done. I'm going to use a toothpick just like I would a cake. However, because they're fudgy brownies, they're not going to come out clean like a cake would, um, but it'll come out like a fudgy bar. And that's pretty clean, so it's ready to come out. The next step is to do, while that's cooling, the fudgy topping. However, you don't have to do the topping. If you want a healthier option, you can just eat them like this. But who doesn't like chocolate? <music> to make the frosting, you're going to use a quarter cup of butter, which is a half a stick, and you're going to put it in a pan. You don't have to melt it beforehand because it's all going to cook together. Then we're going to add milk, and it's a quarter cup. And a cup of confectioner sugar. And just like the brown sugar, you want to make sure it's leveled. Then you're going to turn on your heat. And you're going to stir. The butter will melt. The milk will incorporate with the confectioner sugar. And it will make a beautiful glaze. Once it starts boiling, that's when you know it's ready to add the vanilla and the chocolate chips. The next step is adding the chocolate. You guessed it. And the vanilla. And because the liquid is in here is hot, it should just melt together. Then you're going to take your brownies. They can still be a little warm, it's fine. And you're just going to dump the glaze right over top of it. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. Also, make sure you get all that glaze out. It's deliciousness. And you're just going to kind of spread it out a little bit, make sure it gets all over the top of it. And then you're going to put this in the refrigeration so that it can firm up a little bit. And then in a few hours, it'll be yummy deliciousness. 